guys. Thanks for coming. I'm very pleased to be here teaching you today how to make a wild mushroom soup. It's a straightforward recipe. It's uh, fulfilling, earthy flavors, really deep and delicious. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoy it and discover how simple it is and way better of buying a canned mushroom soup. So let's get to it, guys. Canola oil, just to cover the bottom of the pot. And we put the pound of chilling on it. That's the first step. We are gonna caramelize it. Because they are dry mushrooms, oh, okay. so they are dry, so uh, they are full of flavor, and we are gonna use also the water that soak all that flavor too. So this one is started getting there. I brought this uh, chicken stock that I made at home, and this wine I just bought it outside here on the market. For cooking, you don't need expensive wines. If somebody tells you that you need expensive or uncertain kind of wine, it's not true because the alcohol is going to evaporate. We just want the deep flavor, so it's, it's red wine. Now, while you are doing this, you have to drink some. <laughs> I don't see any wrong. So, now I have two big cloves. The recipe calls for three because usually they are smaller. So, we are going to take this one. We flatten it the knife. actually use some sugar uh, to, put the, to caramelize the onions and uh, it, uh, make it faster but the onion itself is, uh, is ironic but onion is full of sugar so the sugar is getting out so it's gonna caramelize it by itself so when I make this soup at the, at the restaurant people actually send compliments so that's why I chose to, to do this one today 
Okay, so now you can see that it's caramelizing a little bit. If, if you have time at home and you are having some of the wine, you can wait a little bit longer. So, but this one is starting caramelizing, so now we can add the tomato paste. And then there are two ways to cook this butter with flour. One method is called roux, which is you melt the butter in a little pan and add the flour slowly until it gets the texture, a uh, paste texture. But here we are gonna put it right on, on it and we just build the roux with the onions. One quarter of a pound. We move it around, you see how it's getting dark in the bottom? That's, that's nice because actually it's caramelized. So when the butter is almost all melted, is when we add flour. And I stir thoroughly. some for the end, so add just maybe three quarters of the mushrooms that you have here. It seems a lot, but it's gonna get smaller. So let's leave some for the end. And keep mixing. Porcini. So, Add all of them. It was, I used one cup of uh, the dry porcini and one cup of hot water. That's it. Some more pepper and salt. So the salt now is going to help us to, to, to bring the water from the mushrooms out. And the smoke. Spicy fabric. Don't put all the seasoning at once. Just wait until the end. At the end, you are gonna adjust it. If, if you put all at the same time, uh, sometimes uh, it gets salty and you can fix it later. So, so better you add slowly the seasoning. Okay, that is nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Add that now or a little later? At the very end. Okay. At the very end because uh, because the flavor of the herbs they stay if you if you put it at the end. If I put it now, they get lost. Okay. So the flavor and plus the color and presentation and everything, the, the herbs at the end are really nice to put it in there. So now we have this. Real chicken as well. If you see that it's too thick, you put too much mushrooms or onions and you see that it's too much, too thick, just add a little bit of water or <laughs> why not? And actually when I make this sometimes. I take, I take some of the thick stuff, I save it on the side, and it's gonna be beautiful for, for a sauce that you put on a steak or on the top of something. You just save a little bit, save it in your fridge, and you're gonna 
prehydrated with a little bit of cream and uh, Dijon uh, mustard, and it's beautiful to put on the top of the steak. Does, it, does that soak in cream as well? Yes. It's great for that. So you can do all of this and and uh, take it one day before from the freezer. And if you want to add a little bit more chicken stock, if you don't like it too creamy. Okay, so now that it's bubbling, we can wait more, more time, but uh, it's good to add now. One cup of 35%, but again, you can use milk. Uh, if you are celiac and you don't want to use uh, flour or you want to avoid the uh, gluten, use cornstarch. It's perfect. Cornstarch, you have to use way less than one cup. You have to use maybe one quarter of a cup because cornstarch uh, is, is more powerful to, to, to make it thicker. The cheese that I brought today is Asiago, Parmesan, and smoked cheddar. Uh, as you can see, I love smoke. Smoked paprika, smoked cheddar, it's a distinctive flavor. So now that it's starting moving at the top, I can add the rest of the smoke. maybe half a teaspoon of thyme. This is just very last minute. Okay, now you let it simmer by 10 more minutes. We are good to go. Okay, so are you ready?